Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust video. All right, today we'll be talking about Christina versus Lyudmila. Now, this is a question that I get asked from time to time. All right, who is better between Christina and Lyudmila, and who should you be building next? If you are thinking of investing in one of the better warriors, all right. So current meta top picks. So Christina Lyudmila, they are both definitely one of the best warriors you can obtain right now at the time of me recording this. Obviously, we will have much better warriors in the future. But for now, if you are looking to invest in a warrior right now, a solid one, you will not go wrong with either a Christina or a Lyudmila. So let's go. We're going to dive into the differences right here. Alright, so before we proceed with the video, let's do a quick overview between both Christina and Lyudmila and see how similar or how different they are in terms of what they are able to achieve. Alright, personally, I do think that Christina and Lyudmila, they are both pretty similar. So Christina is usually used as an initiator, so she's used to initiate battles and at plus 15, she has this ability, very important. So this skill will give her debuff immunity for one turn and it boosts her defense to 95% and she gets uh, basically 100% because she has another 5% from her base stats. All right, so she gets 100% defense for a short period of time just when she's about to attack. So just think of her like a, a solid unit that probably will not die to anything except for fixed damage counter. And she only gets this at plus 15 though, so you have to keep that in mind. So for most players, that's probably the stopping point and you have to max her out. So you can't just leave her at plus 14 or plus 13 because in most cases, she's gonna die to counter from Rafitia. Alright, so Lyudmila on the other hand, so she has stun, incoming damage boost, she has this ability which basically deals damage based off her current HP. Obviously, she will be able to ignore enemies damage reduction effect caused by defense, deals additional damage to the main target, and she has this skill which deals insane amount of damage to magicians as well if they are in the range. Now, she's much harder to counter. I feel like Lyudmila is gonna be way harder to counter just because you cannot use taunt to try to divert her away because she always have this permanent taunt ignore skill that will means that she will always hit whoever that is in the same lane with her whereas for Christina you can easily taunt her away okay so with that being said so right now I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts and analysis based off my experiences in using both of them so let's talk about Christina for the time being all right so Christina she is very supporter dependent all right so I've tried using Christina as a solid initiator with only one supporter which is my Rafitia plus 15 and usually she struggles to kill basically uh, slightly tanky units like Livia plus 10 and of course Michaela occasionally and enemies Rafitia as well at plus 13 to plus 15 because of enemies shield roots now Christina usually struggles to do so if she is single buff but with two buffs where I start using Michaela alongside with Rafitia plus 15, she's insane. The damage she deals is really, really, is just top the roof. All right, she can one-shot low skill Grand Hill there easily, no problem. She can one-shot a lot of units, even Banshee now occasionally. She can one-shot Lucius, no problem. So she's primarily used to counter Lucius. And of course, Glacia as well, because Glacia, especially those that are not immune to DOTs, uh, she's one of the best most secure method and most consistent way to get rid of Glacia, right? So Glacia is just prominent in the meta right now. So she struggles particularly with one unit, which is Banshina. All right, so Banshina and high skilled Grand Hill there, that's where she starts struggling a little bit. And whereas Lyudmila does not struggle with either Banshina or Grand Hill there. So based on my experience, Lyudmila only needs a single buff and most of the time, Lyudmila can one-shot Banshina or Grand Hill there when they don't have Rafi's buff. She will be able to do that, I would say, 95% of the time, all right? So unless uh, the enemy managed to grace or something like that. But most of the time, based on my experiences, using Lyudmila with solo buff Rafitia, that will be more than enough. But one thing to note, all right, so another one differences is rune dependency all right so this is something that you have to take note of i feel like while christina does need one additional supporter 
you will need either Michaela or Venaka to pair with Rafi for her to work well. Lyudmila doesn't need the supporter. Lyudmila doesn't really need the extra supporter, but she's much more rune dependent compared to Christina. So Christina is much more flexible. Most of the time you will see Christina with two assault runes. Alright, so most of the time, ideally, when people when players are using Christina, they will have something like a one flat assault rune and one percentage assault rune to give her the most amount of damage. Now, she's much more flexible like I mentioned earlier. If you do not have a flat and a percentage assault, I've seen some dual runes with you know assault rage or something like a assault rune and one more fatal rage rune. I've seen that before as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, Christina, I feel like is much more flexible, but ideally if you have something like a Rafitia to Michaela, you want to be using two assault runes for the most highest best output damage, right? Whereas for Lyudmila, she's less flexible in terms of her runes. Uh, she's very rune dependent. You need to have good vital runes. So recommended to get her HP at least up to 6,000 HP. So if you are uh, below that, you might occasionally struggle to one-shot uh, slightly tanky units on the enemy side. But if you are at at least 6k HP, most of the time it's going to be consistent enough. Now do keep in mind that Lyudmila does not have any form of immunity. So she can be charm, she can be stats weaken. So that always happens when she tries to hit an Angelica. But most of the time, Angelica or Livia, she will not struggle with either one of them. I've seen, uh, encountered her many times before and I do not have any immunity on her. And as long as Rafitia is present on the battlefield to purify, remove the stats weakening afterwards, most of the time she will be able to one-shot them. So rune dependency, that's something that I've noticed. Lyudmila really needs the good runes. Whereas for Christina, since she has one extra supporter, you won't need that as much as compared to Lyudmila. Alright, so one more thing to take note of, especially if you are new, this is something that you have to consider. So Christina will need slightly more investment. So this is something that most players might overlook. So Christina, she, do she does work at lower skill level, but ideally you want to get her up to plus 15. Like, like I mentioned earlier, without plus 15, she's going to die to Rafitia's buffs uh, most of the time. If you have her at plus 15, she will be able to survive to any reflective counter except for fixed damage. So most of the time, you won't get rid of her that easily. So having that plus 15 is going to give give you the extra security, right? So that she can last in battle much longer. But you can't say the same for Lyudmila. So Lyudmila, she doesn't really need the plus 15 as much as Christina. So Lyudmila, her, her best stopping point would be at plus 12. So this is what I think that she's best at. If you can't invest further into your Lyudmila, plus 12 is going to be just fine. All right, so... You don't really need plus 15, you don't really need plus 14. Plus 15, she gets 350%. Yes, that's going to be a huge difference. But based on my experience, most of the time, plus 12 is more than enough. You don't have to worry of spending the extra resources. But if you do want to, go ahead because right now we still currently have her banner. So this is something that you have to consider, right? Because it's based off your resources. So that three extra, uh, two extra companions and the soul gears you might need a lot of time to try to farm that for Christina compared to Lyudmila. So in, in most players' eyes, especially if you are still slightly new, I feel like going Lyudmila might be the cheaper route from what I'm seeing because having that, uh, you can save that two extra companions needed for Christina plus the soul gear to try to get something like a Rafitia's companions or something that you really need to complete ASAP. But if you are a veteran player, I guess it doesn't matter which one you want to go for because you should have plenty of resources. But it's more for those players that are slightly tight on the amount of diamonds or scrolls that you have. Alright, so that's something they have to keep in mind. The amount of resources needed for their optimal skill level. Alright, so one more thing that we have to take into consideration is the current meta and how it favors Beliaf. So I thought this is a good opportunity to try to let you guys know of how the meta has revolved around this unit. So if you guys are following the top tier meta, you should be able to see like quite a number of players have tried to use Beliaf and form skeletons in the formation. Now this is something that you have to take into consideration. Now how Beliaf works is Beliaf's skeletons 
will deal damage based off the number of enemies attack. So enemies attack times 150% additional damage. So if you have a Christina, 90% of the time, more than likely, your Christina is going to die to Belief. Skeletons. Alright, so it's just how it is. Christina does have low base attack, but if you have two assault runes, it's just you're not going to survive any Belief skeletons. But Lyudmila, on the other hand, since her base attack is so low and she depends on her HP to deal damage, so she will be able to survive skeletons. In fact, she's one of the best, uh, better warriors to actually help to clear skeletons without sacrificing much. I feel like she is one of the better units besides Vals to be able to deal with skeletons. Uh, and currently in the meta, Beliaf is almost everywhere based on what I'm seeing. So I feel like having Lyudmila gives you the slight advantage right here. And lastly, let's talk about tanks. So this is something that I've been uh, thinking and testing for a while and I've noticed that in terms of the current meta in terms of tanks we have Grand Hill there alright so we have Banshina we have Glacia and we have Lucius so whether you like it or not these are the four most prominent defenders currently being used alright so in terms of Banshina I feel like Christina needs to attack her early on and Christina most of the time struggles with Banshina especially Banshina when there's plenty of graves available, Banshina usually will be able to outheal Christina's DOT. But based on my experience, Lyudmila will always 99.9% .9 consistently one-shot a Banshina, no problem. Alright, with just a Rafitya's buff, so that's going to be more than enough. So I feel like Lyudmila is better at getting rid of Banshina. Now in terms of Gran, so I've seen Christina and Lyudmila both one-shotting them, but again, like I mentioned earlier, I feel like Christina will need one more supporter and she will need good runes to be able to do that. Lyudmila, if... Lyudmila, I feel like it's much better, you don't really need that extra supporter, but when she actually get rid of Gran, usually it will trade. So one for one, your Lyudmila will die, there's nothing that you can do. Now, in terms of Glacia, so Lyudmila cannot deal anything to Glacia at all. So Glacia is just such a good counter against Lyudmila, but Glacia is extremely weak against Christina unless she has DOT immunity. So most of the time, Christina will be able to get rid of Glacia much more consistent than a Lyudmila would. So that's something that you have to keep in mind. And of course, finally, Lucius, where Christina is going to make much more sense to get rid of Lucius compared to Lyudmila. Okay, so that concludes my comparison. So overall, I would say if I have to pick a warrior today, right? If I was starting out today and if I have all the same knowledge that I currently have and I have a new account, I'm going to lean towards Lyudmila more than Christina and that's not to take away that Christina is a bad unit or anything like that and I feel like Lyudmila is just overall a better unit right now in the meta. The taunt ignore from Lyudmila is just invaluable. You cannot replace any units and just uh, say that Lyudmila can be replaced. If you have Nartus, right, Nartus is already one of the best units with Tonic Nor, maybe you can consider skipping Lyudmila. But without Nartus, let's say you have Rafitia from your Jumpstart quest, I feel like Lyudmila is going to be a much better warrior for your roster overall because that Taunt Ignore actually complements and is actually good in a lot of game modes outside of PvP. I'm talking about Guild Wars, Underground Arena, ETC. So, obviously in PvP, I would say I still lean towards Lyudmila slightly more. The Taunt Ignore is still going to be helpful, while Christina is a good initiator, but she gets countered easily by 100% defense units. I feel like that's the meta that we are leaning towards right now. If Christina was released uh, slightly earlier, maybe perhaps in the Age of Era where Kauli and Barbara was plus 15 was released back then, if Christina was released way back then, it's going to be in much favor of, of her, but right now, we have a lot of annoying 100% defense units like Dalvi Angelica just blocking everywhere in the skip tile. So it's just not easy to utilize her anymore. But that's just my opinion based on the battles that I've had. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, would you guys pick Christina or Lyudmila? And let me know what's your reason all right, of picking one or the other. As always, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.